Hey guys, my name is Adam Rashid, and in this video series, I'm going to show you how to take a design in Sketch and develop it using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript using a modern front end developer workflow. So, I'm going to be taking a design I made for a side project of mine, and over the next few videos, we're going to be developing it step by step, and you're going to learn how to not only use HTML, CSS, but also plug in data with JavaScript. And later on, we're also going to learn the tools we need to make this into either a WordPress blog or a blog on Kirby CMS. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy and learn a lot. So this is the design we're going to be developing. Uh, this is, uh, like I said, the design for my new uh, blog for freelancers. And I actually did a course on SitePoint.com uh, where I went over step by step on how to create this design. So um, in this series, what I want to do is teach you how to develop this in uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript um, using a uh, modern developer workflow. So we're not going to be using CodeKit like I did in the last couple of tutorials. We're going to be using Gulp. Now, Gulp is a front-end build tool. And what essentially it does is it's what's happening when you uh, use something like Prepros or CodeKit uh, it uses a build tool like Gulp or Grunt to compile everything for you. Um, the, the only thing about CodeKit is it has a nice graphic user interface where you can click around and stuff. Gulp is JavaScript based and um, it runs on Node. Um, and it's, it's really giving you a lot more control of exactly what you want to do with your code and exactly how to compile it and so forth. So before we get started, if in case you don't already have it, download Node uh, for your Mac or PC. Um, just a heads up, this is going to be development using a Mac. Obviously, as I'm using a Mac, um, that's the only way I can show you. Um, if you are using Windows, I believe you have to take some extra steps because we're going to be using the terminal. I'm actually using iTerm, which is a terminal client, which I like quite a bit. Um, so for that, you need Node. In case you don't know if you have Node or not, what you can do is type in, open up your terminal, type in Node-V, and we have 6.1. Current is 8.1, but it's fine for now. And then we also need NPM. Um, you can install NPM, um, pressing install NPM and following the directions there. You can also um, type NPM-V, and we have 5.3, perfect. Um, and finally, we need to go to the GitHub repo I created. And what that does is it's essentially like the boilerplate, boilerplate starter pack that you're getting um, that I created. I set up a simple um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript um, boilerplate. So what you can do is I'll, I'll link to this um, GitHub repo in the description below. So go ahead and grab that. Go to it and go to this clone or download place and copy this. And we're gonna go to clear this up, hitting Command K. We're gonna CD into our desktop. And how you do that is, actually let me close this down. And we're gonna press CD or change directory and type in desktop and enter. Now we can make sure we're in the right place by pressing LS, list structure, and it's gonna show us our CreateX file. So that means we are in the right structure. So now we're gonna press git clone and paste what we just copied and press enter sweet it loaded everything up and now we are going to double click this and we'll see that we have everything in here now um, you can open this with your favorite um, friend or favorite text editor i like brackets so i'm going to type in brackets actually no before we do that we need to cd into it we need to cd into uh, freelance jump and list structure again. Sweet, we have everything there. And then we press brackets and dot. Press enter. It should open up brackets. Okay, sweet. Everything's here. Um, now let me run really quickly through what I've done here. If, when we open, we'll have a package dot json package slot dot json a gulp file our app or our website 
and a git ignore file. Git ignore essentially tells GitHub what to not look at. So we don't want our node modules for like 50 megabytes to upload. We don't want our build folder to upload. We don't want our SAS cache or our DS store. This is, I think, a native Mac file that comes with like every folder or something. Um, so let's run through our app. We have um, a basic HTML boilerplate with a head and a body. Body says YouTube, um, and it links to our JavaScript file and our um, SAS file. So JavaScript file just says uh, it's in, written in ES6. We're using const instead of var. And it's saying ES6 is now ES5 because we're going to transpile it. And going to our um, SCSS, it's just importing a bunch of um, subfolder um, places. I believe they're called partials um, that are connected to here for easy management of our styles. Now um, let's go back here and let's just press gulp. Make sure you're CD'd into the folder, the freelance jump folder, and we're gonna press enter. And it gave us an error. Ah, I know why. Um, I forgot to do one crucial step. We have to do sudo npm i dash s save dev, put in your password. And now it's going to install all the directories, all of the um, plugins that we need for this to run. So um, we're going to go to our pa package.json, look at all these things that it's going to, these are called dependencies. It's going to actually run all of these. And once we refresh it, we should see node modules. And all of these are dependencies that need uh, we need for things in our gulp file to run. For instance, uh, in, our, in our gulp file, we're using gulp, obviously, plumber, rename, auto prefixer, babel for transpiling our JavaScript. We're using concatenate, gsint, uglify, delete, and Ruby sass, sass error, source maps, notify, and browser sync. So now we should be able to press gulp. And hopefully this will work. Perfect, sweet. That's exactly what needs to happen. We'll close these out. And uh, we are going to go to our main.css, type in something right here. Let's do body, background, pink. Perfect. And this green is coming from our global, I believe, our typography. Yep, yellow green. Um, so it didn't compile. Uh, correctly when we first launched it, but now it's watching these changes. Let's make this white. Perfect. And it's giving us a notification. That is awesome. So that's going to be it for this video. I just want you to make sure that you can um, get this up and running. And in the next few videos, I'm going to show you how to take this and develop it into a working website that's pulling in data and it's going to be fully responsive, meaning it's going to work on all screen sizes and all devices, and we're going to optimize it to load quickly, and we'll do some fun stuff in JavaScript as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to look at the description in the video below for all the um, things I talked about, all these links, and um, the, for the node uh, NPM as well as the GitHub repo, and I'll see you in the next few videos. Thanks.